All right, hello everybody. Today we're here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the Cessna 152. We have a 114 nautical mile flight from 6 Bravo 9 Skinny Atlas Aerodrome to 5 Bravo 2 Saratoga County. Both of those are freeware airports, and I'll put the link in the video details so that you can enjoy them. We're flying with live weather and live time, and that will give its own unique challenges to this flight. And once again, we'll be using pilotage to get to where we need to go. Should be an awesome flight, so let's hop into the pilot seat and get started. So all of our switches are off, our circuit breakers are in, mixtures to idle cutoff, throttle to idle, fuel selector will rotate on. We'll crack the window here. Check that the prop is clear, it is. We'll turn on the battery and alternator. Fuel gauge left right read full, which looks good. Next we'll get the mixture into full rich, crack the throttle. Prime it, one, two strokes of the primer, call clear prop. Feet on the brakes, keys in the ignition, and start. And that didn't start, so we'll bring the throttle in just a little bit more. Try again. And we've got a good start. I'll bring those RPMs back down to 1,000 with the throttle. That looks good, so we can lean the mixture now for ground operations. Head down here, get our taxi light on and our landing light. Turn on the avionics or COM1, COM2. Get our transponder to standby. All right, we'll close up our window and get ready to taxi. First, we'll check the windsock straight ahead. That's pointing to runway 10 behind us, so we'll make our CTAF call. Skinny Atlas traffic says in a 565 Whiskey taxi to runway 10 Skinny Atlas. And even though I've applied throttle, we're not moving because the parking brake is still set. So let's release the parking brake. Try that again. While we're taxiing, I'll open up a four flight and take you through the flight brief. So we're departing from Skinny Atlas Aerodrome, which is an untowered field southwest of the Class Charlie of Syracuse. It's right along Skinny Atlas Lake, which is one of the Finger Lakes. If you look at the weather, the winds are 280 at 4 to 11 knots, with ceilings overcast at 3300. And that would be a problem, because I want to fly at 3500, but keep in mind that's AGL. So we have to look at field elevation of 1039 to convert to MSL. 1,039 plus 3,300 is 4,300 MSL. So I can fly at 3,500 and still maintain my cloud clearances for VFR. So that's what we're going to do on departure. We're going to head for our first waypoint of Lafayette. Uh, you can see that there's a major road there that we intersect. And if you zoom in on that, you can see that we've got Route 11 and Interstate 81. So we're going to cross over that. Then we're going to continue on and look for our next waypoint, which is Casanova Lake. Continue on, and then we've got a nice wind farm here uh, that will be overflying, so it'll be a good visual waypoint. Beyond that is the Oriskany Gravel Pit, VFR reporting point. We'll continue on past Cassville. We've got some power lines here that we can look for. Then we will uh, pass Herkimer, which is a VFR reporting point. We've got another crossing here at St. Johnsville. Then we've got Johnstown, uh, which also has a untowered field that we can use as a visual waypoint. And then we'll arrive at Saratoga County, uh, which is an untowered field just north of Al Albany. If we look at the weather there, we can see skies are clear, although it's windy. So we've got 270 at 13 knots, and the forecast is 10 to 18 knots. So the skies are going to clear up as we go east, which will be great for our ceilings, but it's going to get windier as we go there, so it might be a little bit spicy on landing. All right, we've back taxied on runway 10. The windsock still agrees with us, and even though we do have a 3,100-foot runway, I'm going to configure for a short field takeoff on this. We've got trees at the end of the runway, and then we are right out over the lake. 
So as we come to a stop, we're going to do flaps 10 for short field takeoff. Confirm the flaps come down. They are set. And then I'm going to do feet on the brakes, full power. Verify that all the engine's uh, gauges look good. They do. Release the brakes and accelerate. And then once we reach rotation speed, we're going to pop up and climb at VX until we get over our obstacles, which are those trees. Then we're going to nose down for VY and do a normal climb and keep on climbing up to our cruise altitude of 3,500 feet. So it's a little bit of wind. It's only about nine knots here, which isn't too bad, and it's fairly lined up with the runway, which is nice. There we go. Critter obstacle, nose down, flaps up. Now we're going to do a VY climb for the rest of this. Once we get up to altitude, I'll contact Syracuse Approach and pick up flight falling. Syracuse Approach, Cessna 565 Whiskey, VFR request. Cessna 565 Whiskey, Syracuse Approach, say request. Cessna 565 Whiskey is a C-152 Slant Alpha, 5 miles east of 6 Bravo 9 at 2,600. Request flight falling destination Saratoga, 5 Bravo 2 at 3,500. Cessna 565 Whiskey, Squawk 2313 and Ident. Squawk 2313 and Ident, Cessna 565 Whiskey. All right, we're on track. Let's sit back and enjoy that awesome flight simulator scenery. Alright, as always that was an awesome scenic VFR flight and we had a bit of a spicy landing with some gusting winds keeping me on my toes for short final. So I hope you enjoy realistic general aviation content like this. If you do, be sure to click that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks as always for flying along with me, and stay tuned for further flight adventures.